So a funny thing has happened since I filmed the last video. The daytime highs have actually increased. It's like 15 degrees Celsius right now, which is close to 60 Fahrenheit, probably 58 or something. And all the snow's melted off the roads off the sides of the roads, but on the lakes, we have ice. So before, we were confident in the ice on the side of the lake and worried about the ice out there, and now we are confident in that ice out there. And we just need to tip toe across this right here to get to safe ice and to get to crappies for dinner. Stay tuned. Okay, all my goodies. Oh, geez. I mean, it's okay now, but what's it going to be like after another few hours at this temperature? I don't know. Yikes. Oh, wow. A lot of water's coming up on the ice here. I'm definitely more so worried about the end of the day, but maybe I'm going to have issues before then. Okay. Not cool. Whew. That's better. Better. Better-ish. Better. 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 Okay. Am I hitting less hard? It's just not thick. Jeez. I need to get to that clear stuff over there. But is this all bad? Yeah, that's bad. Oh, jeez. This is going to be tricky. Hmm. We're going to be fine. I'm just going to shoot across here. And cross my fingers. Or what? I don't know. Is this bad? Yeah, that's freaking bad. It's freaking not good. Okay, okay. Not good. Not great. Not great. Oh, I feel better. Clear ice is usually better. Yeah, that's way better. Way better. Good. Great. Wow, we were on good ice. Here we go. Well, the lake is open. Believe it or not, this was somewhat safe to walk on seven days ago and definitely not safe to walk on six days ago. I attempted to go out here and film a crappie video six days ago. Walked out with my sleigh, all my gear, and I was checking ice, but I was also a bit reckless, I would say, with the process. Going through a couple things right now and just wasn't as safe as I should be. I went through the ice. I lost my toboggan, a live scope, three cameras, three rods, three reels, ice auger, Dakota Lithium power box, Dakota Lithium 1000 amp hour battery. I spent too much time trying to save my toboggan and my gear. My toboggan, of course, was pointed in the direction that I was walking, so I was trying to keep pushing it that way, which is not the direction you want to go. You want to go back towards safe ice. And it kept on breaking, kept on breaking. I had gone under a couple times in efforts of lifting the toboggan, and it was just kind of bright. I don't know if I lost my vision or what, but it was like, all of a sudden I was like, what am I doing? I've been in the water way too long. I don't know if I could feel it at the time. I certainly could feel it afterwards and still now that my arms were just shredded in the tricep, like the muscles were just shredded from treading water. But when I realized I need to get out right freaking now, I spun around, went back towards the direction that I came, scratched and clawed my way out. It wasn't too hard to get out, I don't think. And I stood up on the ice and looked back and I could see my coat sitting there, but pretty much no other residual from my toboggan. My truck keys were my coat, so I wasn't going to leave without my truck keys. I did some jumping jacks. I took my bibs off. I took my boots off. I slithered back into the water, which really wasn't that bad. Grabbed my coat, came out. And then really nothing was left in this little slush hole in the ice. There was nothing there. So I walked back to the truck, which was a long ways. I was actually basically dead center in the lake when I went through. 
and I had my drone in my truck. So I flew the drone back out there over top of the spot that I had fallen through to get a waypoint on it so that right now I can take that waypoint and we can drive out there and attempt to retrieve all of our gear. Okay, you thought you were sleeping for the winter. No. Well, I've taken the liberty to leave my truck on the ramp. Hopefully that's acceptable this time of year. Considering this lake will be frozen again tomorrow probably. And nobody has boating on their radar. Let's put the kill cord on and let's go see what we can find. Here comes the waypoint. Dead ahead, middle of the lake. I'm more so gonna check for it on the side imaging than the live scope. Okay, so it's gonna be nine, 10 feet. Very soft bottom. There are some returns on here, but that is a soft, boring bottom. We are looking for a toboggan with an ice auger, a live scope, some fishing rods, a pail. And what is that gonna look like right here? I don't see any there. That must be it, right there. Found it! But if I shrink up the scale on the side imaging, we should get a much clearer image of it. Let's see what it looks like at 65 feet. And do another pass here. I'm in reverse, so I'm kind of distorting my image, but it should show up on the right side of the screen right now. There's our pile of stuff, right there. Hmm. Oh, my cell phone is down there too. I think I can make it out right on that side there. Look at this new Garmin folding motor. The spot lock on this is so freaking deadly. I just passed it, you can see it on the 2D also. Why is there stuff three feet over 10 feet? Is there any chance that could be dinner? I'm gonna hit anchor lock. I also have a live scope transducer on my Vantage trolling motor like exactly below this trolling motor, which means maybe I want to spot lock just back five feet. Because ideally I can bring that stuff up item after item and display it to you right here. Okay, so it is five feet. So the gear is right here. Let's do one more five foot section. Every time we press the jog feature here, we do five feet. So we're gonna bring the boat back another five feet, which is bringing that gear to right here. Let's see the gear moving towards the 10 foot mark. Yep, there it is. So 10 feet out, it's right there. Let's start getting our stuff back. You ready for this? We're gonna hook up a musky rod with some big treble hooks and get back everything right now. Let's go. This is not gonna take long. Okay, so it's further this way. Five feet, that means it's right here. I'm scratching on stuff there. Definitely feels like I'm scratching on stuff. I picked up something light. There we go. I have hooked something. Oh, it's heavy. It is very heavy. Air bubbles coming up. This is way heavier than an auger. I don't even think that battery's this heavy. This must be something to do with the toboggan. Oh, it just got lighter, but it is still hooked to something. It's the toboggan! Oh my goodness. That makes sense as to why it was so heavy. So we just dumped the whole freaking toboggan out. Mini toboggan. Right down we go. Now that everything's sprawled out, freaking garage sale down there. Okay, it's at five feet, so it's a little closer this way. Scratching, scratching, hooked something heavy. Heavy's good. Probably a live scope bundle based on the weight. Oh, it's coming up quick. It's right here. Oh, it's my hat. Oh, and I see a pail. Okay, I got my hat with a GoPro on it. Perfect. Oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. This is what I was so worried about, is this pail, whether it was gonna be tipped over or not. Since it's not tipped over, all of these items are still intact. Three frostbite rods, couple dipsticks, and a Royal Flush. Sony A7S. Will this ever work again? We will find out. The multi-use GoPro. Jaw jacker. Gloves. Fancy fluoro. Bait puck. Headlamp. A bunch of GoPro batteries and camera batteries. This was gonna be the hardest thing to retrieve. A screwdriver. 
to cut their throats for dinner. Interesting to see if any of this stuff works. Oh, you know what I'm missing? My freaking phone's missing! Okay, so there's a pile of stuff down there still. Right here. Watch this, I'm gonna lift something or all of that right off the freaking bottom. So what do I got, an auger or a live scope? I've got a live scope, which reminds me I also need to get that battery. Yeah, we needed this. Thank you very much. There's the transducer, a little shorty for first ice. Wow, it's so crazy seeing this. Look at this. This is actually the lake freezing right in front of us here. Like it is sheeting over the whole thing. That is so cool. Everywhere. We are going to be able to walk on this again in only a few days. Be a little bit more cautious this time. Can we still see this is the question. Let's give it a pan here. There's something still there. 12 feet. Right here. Right there, further away. Jeez, it is freezing up as we speak. I would most like to get that 1000 amp hour battery and I have something now. Oh my goodness, it's heavy. Whatever it is, it's freaking heavy. Oh, it got significantly lighter once it got out of the mud. What is it? It's the auger, okay, that's good too. There we go. Key member of the family. Strike Master 40 volts, literally the best auger ever. Man, it's gonna get hard to hook those batteries now. We're gonna lose our point of reference on them, I think. I think we have to go with the jig ramp at this point. We can cover so much more water, you know? Okay, what do we got? Where is it? 15, that way. A little closer, a little closer. There we go, something heavy. But not heavy enough. I think we've got that power pack. Up it comes. Yep, power pack. There we go, Dakota Lithium power pack. An essential for the entire winter. Hopefully all this stuff works still, you know? I guess that's the other part of it. Does any of this even work anymore? Mm -hmm.